I think we can start now. So, hello guys. Uh, thanks a lot for joining in this call. Um, we are going to today cover, um, it's, it is the first session after our uh, earlier demo session to uh, start a basic cycle or basic uh, sales and distribution training on the S4 HANA 2020 system. So as earlier uh, described, uh, we are going to go, there is a two part of the training here, uh, basic sales and distribution on S4 HANA 2020 and advanced functionality of the S4 HANA for the sales and distribution uh, module as well as uh, in general HANA migration and all other concepts of the HANA system. As for HANA system, and that would be a separate co course. We would start that separate course uh, once we'll be done with our uh, uh, basic setup of the system. So it can uh, we can give an opportunity to the people who has joined this particular course to later move to the advanced course as well. I would very quickly uh, take you guys uh, through very initial uh, topics. Uh, in general, everyone would be mute. However, I would prefer our session stays, uh, like uh, we talk to each other. It's, it should be an interactive session. And to have an interactive, interactive session, after every topic, once we will be done, I would uh, open up, open up uh, for any kind of uh, questions uh, and answers and uh, you guys can raise your hand and based on that uh, we can unmute you so you can come up with your question uh, definitely we want to cover certain topics and we will be mindful of that particular point as well you all uh, can see on my screen how in case you are interested to continue for this particular session uh, and training uh, in future you can always approach uh, to the phone number mentioned on the system on the screen uh, via whatsapp as well as if you are in India, direct uh, call. And uh, uh, you can also approach by uh, sending a mail or a post session. You can post a query to support at the red sastragik.com. You can also check uh, all the content, uh, course information, uh, session schedules on the www.sastragik.com. You will get uh, all the details uh, regarding to the course fee, course structure, what topics are being uh, covered and so and so forth on the site, so forth on the site itself. So I'm not going to repeat and uh, take your time by uh, taking you guys uh, through that particular part because uh, that is very self-explanatory and I would like to really start the topic to uh, initiate and introduce you guys uh, to the ERP and SAP system today. A very quick point for the people who had not uh, got an opportunity to join uh, our demo session. Um, I am Rudra Pal. I would be your uh, trainer for the uh, core S sales and distribution module on our S4 HANA 2020 system. Um, I'm having uh, more than 13 plus years of experience uh, as a consultant on various kind of projects, implementation support, rollout, upgrade projects, multiple end-to-end -end implementation cycle experience. And I have worked as a corporate trainer internally as well as uh, uh, as an external corporate trainer for many of the companies uh, to train uh, to the people uh, on the sales and distribution. Uh, I have a wide uh, industry exposure, uh, which comprise healthcare, technology, FMCG, and uh, many other areas. So, uh, last session we had covered the customer hierarchy topic. However, we will be uh, when we will be going through the more detailed sessions, we will end up uh, touch basing uh, almost all of the topics which has been discussed, uh, which we had even covered as part of the demo session. But coming back to the point. What is our today's agenda? What we would like to know in our first session? So our first session, our today's agenda is to uh, discuss about ERP and SAP. What we are going to have a discussion is, what is ERP? What does SAP mean in that ERP world? How SAP uh, came into picture? What, what, what is the main reason in the SAP? What are the important part of the SAP, which we generally call a module. What is sales and distribution? And probably what is material management or a purchasing and so on and so forth. We'll talk about uh, what are the modules as part of the uh, today's session. After that, I would like to introduce you guys to how SAP had started their system and how SAP's journey progressed 
why nowadays people are uh, more and more interested to uh, have the training or a learning session on S4 HANA system. What is so different between very early version of the SAP to uh, reach to the S4 HANA system. So we will take ourselves through all those uh, aspect today. Uh, we will also discuss which kind of projects would be in the market, which kind of user role we initially uh, interact with. And also I would like to very simply, depending upon how much time is remaining, I would like to uh, at a high level touch base to the basic sales and distribution cycle that when we imagine a sales and distribution cycle, actually what has happened how the information passed through, what are the stages of that particular cycle, what we need to think about. Overall, our sessions uh, timing is uh, four hours. Uh, in, in general, it would be, it would be four hours. Um, I can see in a comment uh, that uh, you, some people are not able to hear it. Uh, Sai, can you please confirm if you can hear my voice properly? Uh, yes, sir. I have asked them as well. Okay. That's fine. Okay, so um, definitely uh, means we, we are going to cover at a, a high level uh, what are the processes and so on and so forth. And uh, given uh, time uh, available time, we will take ourselves through the simple sales and distribution cycle. And then later from the next session onwards, we will jump into the core, core uh, details. Our session structure, if you would have already verified it uh, earlier, uh, would be uh, only on Sunday, uh, every Sunday, uh, four hours of timing. However, today is the first session as well uh, itself. And I really don't want to uh, like, you know, surprise you uh, guys on the first day itself uh, with a four hours uh, long session. So we will try to keep today's session as a, a bit shorter in general. Uh, we will also uh, take a break in between after almost uh, one and a half hour. So uh, that will uh, means uh, that will give a time that and you guys are not uh, too much uh, stuck uh, uh, on your seat for a very long uh, period of time. And that would be the same structure even in future whenever we will have the course. This is generally a standard setup of uh, all the trainings which happens at the training level and we are going to follow exactly the same approach. So without uh, spending any more time, let's jump into the topic. Uh, in general, I have a very good uh, internet connection, but uh, in case uh, anyone face any problem uh, in terms of uh, hearing my voice or any other aspect or uh, topics, definitely uh, write it down in the chat and uh, our support team uh, will help you guys uh, for any other, and if the problem is on your side, they will check it. Otherwise, uh, they will approach me and we will sort out. We never know when the internet may give up. So that's the main reason. So our main purpose of the day, um, ERP. Question, what is ERP? We have all, or more or less, if you are interested right now in this session, that means you, you guys have heard one way or another way, uh, ERP word. And if you have done the MBA, there is a dedicated sessions or a dedicated chapters about the ERP because at the end of the day, this is something which is very close to the heart of the business. Uh, or any, any, anyone who wants to do the business uh, ERP system in a one way or another way is very close to their heart. The full form of ERP is actually enterprise resources and planning. We just focus on the name enterprise. We are talk, typically talking about a business, any of the business, any of the company who are uh, dealing, uh, who, who are in a value addition business. That means either they, they are providing service or they have a product available which they can sell to us, any of uh, business resources. You cannot just do the business without any resources. That that would never be, the, generally that would never be the uh, situation. Even if you have to do an invention, you need certain amount of resources. Either you have an offices, you have a manufacturing site, you may be doing, if you do not have a manufacturing site, you may be doing a trading business, but there would be some kind of resources which you end up utilizing. We are talking about those resources. Okay. And 
are all those resources you need to use it in an effective manner which would at the end of the day help you or you as a company to run the best business at the end of the day you want to do the profit and that you can achieve in a in a efficient manner if you can plan your resources very well and that's how the terminology erp enterprise resources and planning came into picture one of the point like uh, erp we we have all uh, new we we have all known the word erp but i have a question for all of you who are in the call right now which other as uh, other erp you guys are aware other than the sap now please you can write down uh, your answers in the chat box uh, and uh, i would just like to know that which kind of uh, erp tools you guys have ever heard heard of yes ban R3, R3 is a type uh, of SAP actually, JD AdWords, yes, I can see, Siebel, SAP itself, that's always there, Oracle, yeah, yeah, People. pretty much, pretty People much Soft. all, PeopleSoft, yes, you can call it Tally as well, Tally, Tally is also that uh, one of the ERP tool actually. Ban, B A W N ban. Yes, ban, yeah, someone had already mentioned the ban, good. So uh, this exactly shows that uh, we have a right kind of audience. Uh, this was a very quick uh, uh, check uh, for the uh, information. We talked about, we talked about um, SAP. We talked about JD AdWords. We talked about Oracle, Ban. Even Tally itself can be considered. And it, there may be many more like PeopleSoft, we said many more in the world right now if you go ahead and ask who is the leading erp in the market sap is the leading erp in the market if i remember my last uh, analysis uh, point the market share 22 percent of the market share uh, of the companies is uh, uh, like erp system is with sap and immediate next level comes oracle with the 11 percent don't ask me the other other systems percentage. I don't know, uh, but uh, I can tell you that uh, these are the top two, and you can see very clearly the margin difference. Like uh, first number one and number two has a 50% of the uh, size difference, and that shows how effective uh, SAP is already working as an ERP. For a very simple terminology or a comparison point of view, if we if we consider, um, if we consider um, if ERP, ERP is a uh, SOAP, then SAP is more like a DAO. In simple words, I'm trying to say, if this subset talks about ERP, that means there are many, many, many options available. And out of all those options, one of the option is SAP. And why do we need SAP? Means what is the uh, so much necessity of having ERP or at least one of the ERP in the uh, system? So ERP actually provides you uh, ERP actually provides you the capability to run your business all across the module. Typically, what do you, what as a business guy or what as a business owner you are interested? You are interested in sales. Right? If you are doing some kind of sales, you are interested in a sales that whatever sales I do, I want to track. You are also interested in purchasing because one way or another way, you may be uh, like you know, purchasing the services or a product or inventory and you want to track that. If you are dealing with the stock upfront, then you are interested to track st stock tracking as in inventory management or you are interested in your finance itself. In fact, your finance tracking alone can be an independent uh, tools like a uh, tally. So that also can be the point. If you are really interested in a big enough uh, business, you are interested in a cost controlling. And to do all these things, you need a tool, a tool or a system. Wait. Which, uh, if you are not talking, guys, uh, can you please go on mute? Okay, so if you are 
you need a tool or a system which can help in doing all above activities everything which i i talk, mentioned and over and above uh, to track it can support you to track any of the situation your system situation your business situation as well as support you in doing a reporting right kind of a reporting a financial reporting a reporting uh, which is facing your uh, like a you know, government you may have to provide the tax information you may have to provide the excise information the system which can help you to do all this that would be called erp so in general the wording is enterprise resource and planning but the very simplified layman meaning is a tool or system which can help you manage your business and support you in tracking your uh, activities as well as reporting them correctly now why sap is having the 22% of the business like what is so special about sap which probably not every tool may be providing or or maybe providing partially so for example if you if you took uh, like think about sap there are companies who makes needle to aeroplane all this level of the company a to z all the level of company every kind of a business uh, managing company is at the end of the day right now in the world using the sap and that brings a vast amount of business process experience for the sap guys because all these companies uh, when they are running their business they also come back with their improvement suggestions within those industry and that uh, helps and an sap does the analysis think about uh, all across the impact and sap is also co uh, consistently coming back back with uh, improving their functionality improving their systems uh, and many of the time coming back with the industry specific solutions and this makes sap so much special and a market leader compared to many other erp systems and if we are interested to learn sap it, it really makes sense that we understand why sap is very effective i'll move to the next topic that okay we understood we established the fact that um, what is erp and how sap helps but we need to also understand from a wide uh, impact point of view that what things sap in general can support because sap has uh, you you can call it a core setup right core setup a basic setup which can support the business that was my first uh, comment so this various various sections which we were describing earlier that sales purchasing um, inventory inventory tracking finance controlling what these things are and what we are calling it those things are called modules in sap not only in sap actually almost all the erp system more or less they will uh, they will call it a module but uh, very recently like salesforce and so and so forth systems there um, there this boundary of boundaries of the modules is uh, diluting and it is becoming more techno functional role with the business process understanding but in sap core uh, uh, setup point of view we call it a modules and this makes sense then we also understand let's understand what are the important modules which are the important modules in the sap and how they relate to each other right because we really need to understand uh, why how what kind of way so i would like to start first and foremost with uh, core core of the sap system finance and actually controlling what do you mean by finance and controlling module uh, simply everyone needs the system where they can do the reporting they can do the uh, uh, they, they they can manage their finances one of the core uh, initial level of the tool to track your finance financials uh, was tally initially it was only and only was uh, tracking your uh, sales related financial entry uh purchase related financial entries and later uh, they improved more towards the direction of inventory tracking and that inventory related uh, financial trackings right but it was a, a core financial and uh, like you know cost controlling kind of a uh, system 
but as part of financials what we are talking about so we are talking about ar right accounts receivable when we sell a product we need to receive the money and that's considered as an accounts accounts receivable one of the important function accounts payable when we purchase the product from a vendor we have to pay as a company to them and that that's typically a tracking of the accounts payable you may also have various kind of assets correct many many of the assets you have uh, your uh, um, like equipments probably you may have materials you may have uh, many of uh, other, other inventory so you are tracking them also at a financial level and that means you need an asset management functionality as well right so at the end of the day you want to maintain your financial books and balance sheet and all the things related to that will be handled or managed by the finance and controlling fico model but we are right now going to talk about a sales and distribution right that's our focus so let's start with the sales and distribution we call it in short sd or many of the time you will come across the word otc order to cash cycle or a sales and distribution process so when we talk about a sales and distribution process we are actually interested in uh, doing a sales but it's not just a sales because you we are dependent at the end of the day on having a product if it is a inventory specific business and that means sap also gave a core setup which is known as pp production planning first you have to produce the stock or a good before you can start selling it so there is a interaction between these two module typically we call it a integration between the modules when two modules interacts with each other for any specific uh, information we call it integration of the module right then from the pro production planning but if you have to manufacture something you may need a raw material to do that right if you are uh, in a heavy equipment uh, making but just to make that heavy equipment initially you need the material you need the metal you need the tools you need the equipment many other things and you may have to buy those things and when we are talking about buying you may probably need an input from the material management or you can call it purchasing and once you are managing already the inventory because you are now purchasing the inventory raw materials and all and that means you can call it im inventory management and whenever you are having a finished goods product means you are done with the producing after by using that raw material you are done with the producing and uh, planning and production process you are now having the stock and this is the stock which you will sell as part of the sales and distribution model so in a way there is a very basic very important cycle of the uh, sales uh, very important uh, logistic cycle is in the play they are all interacting with each other and all the time they always interact with your finance model when you are creating a billing to the customer you are uh, pre providing the information to the accounts receivable when you are purchasing the things you are again providing the information to your finance model for accounts payable because you want to pay to the vendor whenever you have a stock you are evaluating the stock you have to find out you all at any point of time as a company you need to know that how much value worth of stock do i have how much value worth of stock i am consuming or ha i have sold you want to find out the cost of goods sold right and those all the systems all those systems which are consuming the inventory or purchase and sales they are all interacting with the finance and ceo and these are the these are the systems which are called the core systems or core modules now if you have a production planning process or imagine you are in a business of selling an equipment or instrument those instrument needs to be maintained because if you have bought a refrigerator you have bought a refrigerator from the um, whirlpool and if there is a problem you need a maintenance support and that's something which is also one of the core module cs customer service and same way when you have a instruments available you want to do your own instruments 
like you know preventive maintenance you want to do the plan maintenance if something breaks up you want to do the analysis and work on uh, fixing those things and that is called plant maintenance model why i'm talking about all this model so you guys realize and uh, get an idea that uh, how these things how these all the modules are interacting with each other there are advanced modules as well uh, these were whatever we talked about is a core very very core uh, modules very very core uh, uh, functional modules we talk about till now but there are technical support technical system support as well because none of the none of the erp system whichever you are interested to learn going forward sap jd edwards oracle whatever they all need at the end of the day technical support because they are written on some kind of programming language they are having the database management because they are storing and reutilizing the data and they are interacting with many other systems or you want as a customer very special function and additional functionality and that means you need support all those modules all those modules are called um, technical models i'll write down here a technical models it's more like a parallel world uh, literally parallel world to the um, our functional setup so for example first i started with every system is written on some kind of technical language some kind of programming many of us uh, may have the it background then you guys would know more about the programming language than me because i have more a functional uh, background uh, uh, functional knowledge um, however in sap the core language is an abap for the programming so sap gives you some certain control certain uh, uh, setup and that would be for any other uh, tool but they will give you additionally an option if you want to change the system behavior and want to make it as per your business process more adaptable more easier you will have the language like an abap or you want to interact with completely different system or another sap system and that is called another module like a pi process interface now imagine you are having a uh, pro, you are having the uh, sales process in the sap but you have very special production process which you you are like you know not uh, you have keep, kept it in a well managed and hidden in a very uh, different kind of industry specific tool which is out of the sap but that means you have to make sure both of your system talks to each other and that system that uh, to make those both of the systems the outside of the sap system and your sap system talking to each other you need a support of technical guys and these are the guys who will do that support also we talk about database right now database management is a very big thing in general uh, dbm but uh, we are also calling those guys basis guys as a module these are the guys who make sure that your sap system or your any erp system does not go down these are the guys who make sure that they who make sure that you are getting a good speed when you are running the transaction if some of you are uh, users in your current company and working as an end user on your system many of the time you guys would have complained you know today my sap system is so slow i am pressing an enter and uh, it, it's it's still uh, moving it's not going to the next screen it's not giving me my desired result immediately and i really want it fast those all the complaints of the system its memory its uh, uh, speed it's giving me the error stop the uh, uh, my program suddenly those are the things which are managed by our database management guys we are which are typically the basis guys and nowadays you have a, a more advanced functional like uh, applications and all your fiori and all and they are getting written on the different language ui5 so what i'm trying to say at the end of the day there are many of the systems which are a parallel to our transactional system who helps us to keep running the transaction and that means like a bi or bw system where every transaction which you are punching you at the end of the day need the data report 
information out which can be interpreted logically to make the business decision should i still continue doing my business in probably the northern region of my country apparently i'm i'm doing more loss and less sales should i do that but such a business critical decision if someone has to take he has to first get all the data analyze it determine like you know de uh, determine a report out of it and that report will generate some kind of uh, idea or, or a logical uh, decision making capacity by uh, like you know considering certain kpi and those kind of capacity where do we do it in the bi and bw system so all these technical modules and there are many more this is just a few of them but there are many more which at the end of the day helps us to run our erp system and this statement is true for any erp system not only sap system there are also uh, models like uh, mdg which is a master data governance you may have also here the some more logistics module which are newly coming like transportation management or a logistics execution there are advanced models or when i say mm you may have also heard about ewm extended warehouse management or the traditional warehouse management there are also models or you may have heard about the uh, more crm based like crm sales uh, pre sales systems crm or from the mm point of view supplier relationship management srm so there are an advanced modules which were developed by sap over the period of time to cater very very specific functionality or add the more values for the big business but for a normal small mid mid scale average company the core modules are the most important modules which would work out almost all the requirement which are there so i will take a pause here and to check if any one of you have any questions you guys can raise the hands and uh, we can definitely discuss if you have any questions till now whatever i have, I have mentioned I guess we do not have any question. That means either you are not able to hear me or you have understood very well. Ah, hello. Yes. Yes. Uh, sir. So whatever you said that SDMM basis, uh, I just wanted to know uh, they, when we work on a real time, so they are uh, integrated with uh, uh, each other or else or they are working separately or some part of they are integrated only or they are integrated uh, uh, fully 100 uh, percent to uh, depend on each other or they are working separately uh, i think my question uh, i'm not able to you know uh, that way but i just wanted to know if uh, sd mm whatever you said that pp model they are uh, integrated some part when we go to real time or they are depend on each other in every step and every stage in real time um, yes okay i understood your question uh, Salesh. uh let me explain so uh, can you go on mute please uh, so yeah i done already moved. okay but then there is some okay we'll go one after another guys uh, for the questions so uh, let let me first answer this question uh, we discussed that uh, how, are these systems uh, very very integrated means all the times or they can be completely independently uh, installed or managed and so on and so forth um, with with the time when the ecc came and and now i'm jumping one step ahead because I, uh, one of the topic which is coming next the evolution of the sap uh, which we would have talked about but in general let's uh, consider that you are doing a sales process and to do the sales process you need to have the stock and stock is part of the inventory management so there is a connection between these two sections that and and that functionality is called the availability check for the uh, stock or material right and this particular functionality makes sure that these two modules interacts but from a systematic point of view if you think it is just a one big box where all these modules are part of it they are always talking to each other based on certain functionality and relationship like our sales and finance when you create an invoice for the 
sales and distribution module point of view invoice creation means printing out the bill and giving it to the customer and done but for the finance point of view and this is where it, the handover happens and this handover is an integration uh, your uh, uh, you, we are kind of uh, giving that particular um, we are giving that this much amount xyz amount i need to now collect from the customer and that information we are giving to the accounts receivable for the books to be updated and when the customer will pay it back we clear it clear that invoice right invoice clearing happens so modules talks to each other after ecc onwards actually whenever you buy an sap core license you get all the modules by default but many of the time for example s4 hana there is an option to have only the finance module simple finance activated on any of the system or you can run it independently as well for example tm module transportation management yes you can buy the all the licenses as well as you can run that particular module completely independent what if you have uh oracle as a, as your erp system and then you decided uh, unfortunately oracle transportation management does not give me all the functionality which i'm looking for i would like to go for the sap transportation management yes you can have that particular module independently but that really depends upon which kind of system or a module it is and if it is designed to be handled independently or not so core modules are always talking to in uh, talking to each other and they are dependent on each other one way or another way you would always have a uh, touch between them i hope that answers your question yes sir yes sir thank you thank you so much no problem i can see one more question what is uh, bi and bw bi and bw is typically uh, bw is a uh, business warehouse management bi is called business in uh, business uh, in intellectuals i business information i think i probably uh, forgot the exact words business intelligence yes business intelligence thank you man i uh, really appreciate it yes bi is business intelligence so warehouse is more bi bw is more like a, uh, collecting the data and uh, in uh, like you know collecting and keeping the data available and bi business intelligence is uh, more like uh, uh, utilizing various kind of an application reports kpi reporting and so on and so forth to interpret or reach to the kpi uh, reporting and make the right decisions out of it it can be as interacting you as a dashboard or a running dashboard kind of a functionality and pretty sophisticated options are available in the bi and in market there are many more other functionalities available let me quickly see transport management system configuration for landscape i did not get this particular point transport management system configuration for landscape is that a question okay there are uh, some more questions so uh, let me uh, touch base one after another okay so logistics execution please yes logistics execution le um in traditional ecc there is one of the module which is we call it uh, logistics execution ultimately in uh, many of you would have heard the wordings like with uh, uh, shipment and shipment cost what is that your standard process is sales order delivery and billing if i simplify the sales process at the highest level i would call it i create a sales order i deliver the goods and i invoice to the customer so i receive the money this is the most simplest but then there is an additional part after delivery you are not delivering by yourself probably you are hiring some uh, transporter or you are taking some uh, like you know postal services like dhl or courier service and so and so forth you and incur the cost you may have special requirements around uh, uh, so if you are dealing with the very lit, lit, uh, recent situation covid 19 you are in the healthcare industry probably you may have a need of a 
temperature controlled uh, vehicles and logistics chain to uh, handle those uh, goods movement and these all things are being covered or controlled as part of the logistics execution shipment and shipment cost in general and the advanced module on the uh, on this one is uh, transportation management i think tm 9.0 is the most uh, latest um ahi baran i did not understood the meaning of stms and tsm config what do you mean by that ibaran can you hear us hello yes can yeah stms so, yeah, yeah stms is a transaction code where we are ex, uh, importing the request from dev to queue queue to prd and uh, i am just looking for the explanation system transport management where we are uh, linking landscape like a uh, dev queue and prd we are going to talk Suppose about that, it yeah we are going to talk about it however i am not going to jump in any of the transaction uh, code uh, we are going to talk uh, more about uh, system landscape and uh, how the uh, how the general system landscape in an implementation uh, system works and why why do we design it that way we are going to discuss it on the conceptual conceptual level Okay, so actually, I understand that you have mentioned TM. Is it travel management or is it transport ah, management? So TM, TM. When I mention it, uh, I I mean to say it's a part of the, um, it's a part of your uh, logistics process, which is a transportation management, uh, which covers like you know, uh, trucks. how your uh, like how your deliveries multiple deliveries will be part of your truck how would you planning what route will you take why are you taking that route how would you pay to your vendor okay 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 sorry for that leave it actually i understand tm is a travel transport okay. manager that's why i have asked such question otherwise leave it no 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 that's totally fine that, that's the reason why we are in the call right this trans so trans transport transport management is one of the functional module which he is talking about but the one question what you have raised stms is that is whenever you do some configuration changes or any report changes all these changes will be saved in one of the request and that is by using stms they transport from one particular uh, system to another system by using a stms t code so that's a different yes yeah, so, so, yes yeah, sir i here, I, the, I, here I, the trainer is talking about a functional module one module called a transport management thank you sir okay, I, i i know as about as, as, as mm -hmm. stms but i am looking the explanation yeah just uh, uh, tms travel management oh sorry transport management system config like suppose we have a three server dev queue and prd so sometime these are uh, all server should, uh, should be match in a landscape in such case we can move the tr from dev to queue and prd if we want to exclude some server from dev and include another one dev in a so these are the travel transport management system config we can exclude one server from uh, landscape or as per our requirement we can include we uh, include new server so such uh, such point where i am looking explanation nothing else and ahibaran uh, i think you uh, fair point and i understood your point uh, truthfully we are going to talk about it we are going to talk about okay. uh, 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 standard landscape and uh, why how and what and how these things moves uh, definitely i am not going to go in a technical details of those things and sometimes there is a good enough chance that i may not be uh, working on that technical details but i would try to cover it uh, as uh, as detail as possible and then uh, we can touch with any other questions if you have but yeah, when no, i mean not at all earlier transportation management it was more like a, a functional module as sai mentioned as well yeah yeah, yeah okay. okay then i think uh, more or less i touched uh, on topic but uh, let me continue with our uh, next uh, topic so we can utilize still our time and thanks guys for being uh, pretty interactive this is this this is very nice uh, thank you